Okay, yeah, so these blue things, yeah, they hurt. Like, I got a lot of shield. Okay, so... Familiar... Entrance shapes. Let's go in. Let's see what happens. Oh, B-Zone! You're a fish! So do I save? I feel like saving is too dangerous. You are a same one. Look, look here. Get over to Ridge Zephra on the double. She'll pill him some for your gift. We'll meet later when you return on a huge gleaming mechos, which she's sure to give you for uniqueness. So you just want me to go to Zipa. Still can paint. What? Everything is vaguely vippy shape. Vippy? I mean, like, um, hippie shape. What's your collection of stuff, anyways? Nothing unusual here, I don't think. Toxic! Oh, and that's what you took from me. Maybe that's why you were excited to see me? Well, I don't have it anymore. Um... I'm going to save. At... Zixen... Zizen? Yeah, we're not allowed to use X anymore. Are you interested in speaking? Whoa, okay. Have you heard about them before? The historical softy had nothing to do with them. The softy used to throw away waste. Which the Vongers later use to made mechos. Great grammar. And then that's it, right? No, okay, yeah, so. Whoops, that's not. Okay, see, now you're getting very rude with me. Alright, well, let's go through the list, and I think that's gonna be it for today, though. Like, looking at just the time and tech. We got here, and we got possibly a safe area. And the softy once made, in fact, they opened this world for that reason. There used to be so much garbage that it was spilling through the path into other worlds. This made the scavengers log the passage with secret passwords. That's the spiral, yeah. Okay. Used to be a huge dump. The softy discarded some terribly poisonous mug there. The worms rooting about in the rubbish heat began swelling, developed the scratchers. Uh, Beast lust for scribbling. This is whoa. Okay, I feel like there's like a whole new lingo going on here with this fly fish. Listen to the story of how he became counselor. Once the other Elipus decided to give him a beating for calling them names, fear drove him into the counselor's cave where he ate up all the phlegma store there and so was doomed to stay there for it. What? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know how much of this is true, but remember, like, I'm reminded by how much Leapkey insisted upon how one should not be interested in the stories of the of these people. Potash produces the worst of the Vangers, no doubt. With everyone claiming to be a great poet, there's no one to clean the place up or watch the offspring. What a ruckus! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Dude, I'm sick and tired of it. Going off and and seeing the world with beautiful vongers is a much more pleasant thing to do. Scaves used to be madhouses built by the softy. The most violent inmates were kept in there. So, so escaves are were built as prisons, possibly. Again, assuming, you know... I feel, take everything with a grain of salt, but, oh, this is fun. Flock of foods that have gone wild. They spend their times digging underground corridors and traps or walking around minding their own business and all of a sudden, bang. Oh, man. There's a group of darn darn escape dwellers. The only fun they ever have is fighting, cert, and if they're lucky, larva. Free vangers are another kettle of fish. They don't give a beeve about bunches, and rightly so. You're fun. Chain of world is a vast is as vast as Zephra's stupidity. Zephra, stupid guy. 
Fossil Glorks and Necros aren't even the half of it. Yeah, there's Explo. And there's another, there's a few other names we've seen. There are places where you can get robbed of your own skin before you even notice. It's much more fun to travel around and sit in this cave. I'll get an Amekos right now and go whatever it took me if I could. It's wonderful the rangers catch larva for us. Larva produce cert. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's probably my Rapu. I mean, that's fine. Beebs! Wait, they are Beebs! So Beaver Rats actually are Beebs. They're giant, massive Beebs. They're born big and fat, but on Glorks they've got nothing to eat, so they get thinner and thinner from hunger, shrinking smaller and smaller until they reach the size of a Beeb? Is that true? Wow, and yet, and yet, they still exchange, they still accept beebs as currency. Oh, well, I pressed the wrong button there, sorry. There's a toxic. Sewage collector, I mean, so much ways the whole world had to be allocated to its disposal. That's funny. Little bean! There are big bios and but in, uh, and there are big vongers. Can I dig? Oh, I think I'm in dig mode. Alright, just give me a moment here. Uh, I'm just gonna be digging your space here a little bit. Sorry, it's a professional law obligation. You know, you got like all these nice little like textures. It'd be pretty cool if I could find something neat in one of them. But you know, you know, you just kind of rub over on the side, and even if there's one you think you can, just keep trying, and eventually the voxels move away, and here I find a gross thing. That's your feet. I just call your feet a gross thing. Some, I, I'd say I'm sorry, but no, I, I kind of still think that. I'm gonna be real, but I thought, like, you know, like, your toes are just so cyan. I thought they were, like, a, a worm. Some such. This is fun. It's just like, it's so, it's a weird mindless thing that can happen. It's just such a weird thing. And it paid off once, so I have to keep trying now. And, you know, the reality is I don't know. Like, maybe in the future, you have to do this and something will be there. That's the fun part. Is that you have a stat for your luck. And, uh, that's pretty wild. Alright, that looks to be, like, the main, the last main, like, pod, so to speak. And, yeah, nothing but purple. There's the one over my clock. Don't forget the clock grapes. The grapes of clocks. Okay. Rafa, yeah. They are Beebs and they are, that's right, Rafa. Okay, so, so there's the big, so going in order, the big Biles, the big Vongers, the Beebs, and then there's the Rafas who are under the Beebs. Tend to be small. Fascinating. Do you have any opinion? No, yeah, you seem to have opinions about everything. Oh, they're quarrelsome elipodes. They're awfully envious of the potash and are upset. Okay, really? They are? Obsessed with the idea of driving them away from their cozy spots or always playing dirty tricks on potashers. I don't know if I was aware of that. But I mean, maybe that's not true. Hmm. Right, that's the big difference. Man, you are talky. What do you think I found out? Nimbos are the fruit of a certain water mold. The ones placed in darkness, they burst producing a stinky gas. Uh, Polish Bunch sends them to continue along with their best regards. Turt essential. It has a silver lining to the gray clouds of our lives. Once a larva has rubbed a certain part of her body against the ground, you can flick the cert left behind and bring it to the bunch. Sniff it! Uh. <laughs> wow! A good 
a good day is being had here. That's me. Vangers are very useful animals, able to cope with the Mekos all by themselves. Yeah, so I'm a grub. That like that is my car's core. Pools of machine oil. That is weird. Uh, all right, sure. Looking forward to it. Huh. All you heard about leech so far is gibberish. There's a sign of it that leech is a species of crooked, crawling leech vulgar. This ditches and feeds on old illipods. I want to cite the leeches in the lab. Incubator sends them in swarms to potash. And then he's chucking at that. And slimes for potash. I will sip on spraying their scratchers. Scratchers, I think, is mouth. Illipod with a sprained scratcher is an unbearable sign. Leave me every time a plague is delivered. I'll push. Whining and moaning. Here! Oh, well, your pure people are the only ones who will tell you the whole truth without fleecing you or splashing you with phlegma. It's righteous of all the Zeke sons, you can trust me. Okay, see, here's the thing. Now I'm starting to doubt you. Like, I'm, I'm taking in your tor story. I'm taking in your side of this tale. But, uh, by the fact that you say that, you're making me add more salt to the grain. But you're really proud of your wings, though. Now I can paint pink. I mean, it's clear that I'm gonna end after reading all this. Crawl on by ditch, see the scratches in the water, and start fishing for nymphos while puffing and pushing so there's not quite enough room. Wait. Huh. Beavers are degenerate, be that is funny. So they're still smart, even as they're used for money. That's weird. Uh, huh. Once was an enormous wild tribe, greedy and untidy. After they had eaten all they could, including the rotten mire, they became eating another tribe, the Crispo. Out of the house and home, the Crispo put up with this for a while. Once their eggs became the latest victim, clashed with the softy, hence, the Clash. See, this matches with the long-winded intro at the start of the game. Crispo, sorry. It's a decent culture out of Crispo. We're the victims of bad luck. Yeah. So they claim to be basically Crispo. And dumping their waste as usual, but this time either the climate was wrong or the Crispo had done their bit and stuff went sour and began to thicken. Huh. <laughs> One of the prouder moments in our history. You guys didn't do nothing. Soon an egg bowl with a counterclockwise thread in its sign. Strange phenomenon. It looks like if us can fasten each other like Mecco's parts. What? Wait, so they're physically attached to one another? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Explodes where I need to go. When I discovered this world, the softy found it too small for their waist and their interest in it soon flagged. There they set up a strong escape, a nut house for those who had gone bananas. Bananas is a concept in the world of Angers during world exploration. So Explo is Australia. Got it. 
Oh, time to go. Something to Crispo font in the clash. Huh. All right. Creature suit. Yeah, once it got combined. Yeah, so you can tell that they're interpreting, like, they have a knowledge of what's going on, but it's not perfect, which is normal. Mm hmm. So yeah, we exist strictly for, like, the reason we're so advanced is strictly for what basically amounts to smuggling drugs. Like, that's what they are. Like, sit around with the cert and just wait for more cert. Like, that's what it is. Nutcakes. Every single one in the bio eventually come up with the idea that they can collect more cert from the world and the vongers bring in. All of their skin wander around the world until the beeps turn them into dinner. Okay. Real fun begins. The bureau is bureau wicks and dungeons. A big iron barrel painted brightly and decorated with seaweed. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shrunk to half size, an absent minded vanger slammed him into a door, interrupting the natural process. Oh, weird. Uh, is that why Orog is so thin? But that's why the Bieber rats are like. They rebucate even stray Biebs. That's a terrible legacy of the perverted Softy. Kinds of softy habits and customs. Again, from your point of view. All right. Yeah, I get. I do. Came to the beaver house for the first time. I was rebucated too. Rather my toxic. So yeah, they're into that and got this awful rubbo hung on me. I wear it around. <laughs> Pretty sure the softy marked mechanism meant for waste with this piece of scrap metal. That would be really funny. So right now they create beautiful pictures and proclaim as compulsory. Ha. Huh. Ooh, other than the Popons and the Protozeek. Okay, just adding more words. Local stadium tagging a way that's both strange and harmful to the earth. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So the Valorant is a Biberat itself that has shrunken into like a little circle. Yeah. Huh. No, they're called, but they're called heroes. Like they're turned to superstar and kind of like become heroes and sacrificed. It is so weird. Came to the ultimate conclusion that Softy once had a system observation post in that spot. I started to think he's a plant. <laughs> As one does. Uh, uh, huh. So a shrub is not a literal shrub. It's it's weird. Now we're in silver paint world. The whole chain of world, the place is full of sweet smells and tripping of beebs. Uh, if I ever get sick of bee zone, okay, you'll take over his place. You can just do that. All of a sudden, start to imagine their plants and require watering and tending. Then they carefully pack. Man! 
There's something coming out. Uber has used to be a shrub. You wait. So you can experiment the people that failed to sprout over his wrappings had to be removed. Whoa. So he he wasn't able to go through the through the the whole process. Thing Softy used to use this name for their chief dump investigators. Okay. Huh. He's the most educated one, really. Huh. Okay, war. Yeah, so they understand. So whenever they they mention something about just filling with rubbish, in this case it is bombing. And boy was it fun. My driver followed this. Yeah, yeah. Peep show was all right. You could actually find the things. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna tell them all about agent life. It's not that different. That's you. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's the he's the other, probably the boss of the other place. Zipa's escape of the stupid Zipo. Yeah, all of them, including their mommy Zifra, are just crazy about the softy. Well, I was trying to find out. Reason for this disorder, I picked up a specimen of earth at the entrance of Zipa, and you know what? It's got a high concentration of bog gases. Everyone is high. Got it. Welcome to B Zone. Fresh toxic. Got here for quite a while towards the end. Okay, Zifra, I have not met Zifra. Or trying to dress you up as a proto Zeke. That's that's bebification too. Like right? Friend to anyone silly and carefree, and that's you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <sighs> Arriving in Zipa, Vanger's astonished to learn that Proto Zeke is none other than himself. That's that's the gist of Zipra's madness. She believes herself to be so to be softy refuse, gross, and that Proto Zeke is the idol of. The ideal softy. So as a boast, they take up the vanger, coat him with clay, and send him off to us. 
It's hilarious. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> spring. Of the smear. Okay, now we're talking about cycles. Spring comes, and Proto Zeke is sure to follow soon. It's great fun watching the clay being removed from Avanger. Doesn't understand anything. I think yeah, we're back at digging. Playing and hiccup. Then all of B zone praises. Praises he proper. The treat and prayer things are being toxic for her. Oh, this is turning Saturday. What's happened to be in Zipa on Saturday? What a disgusting sight. Everyone is sitting still, mumbling praise to Proto Zeke. Hoping I'm hopping around amongst them. Punishes those lacking enthusiasm with a huge club. Remembering that picture makes me work twice as hard at boiling toxic. Zipa is really sick in the head. And then there's the sunburn. <laughs> what's what's the original translation? Well, Superbalish is the one who calls everything here by words she imagines to be softy words. Okay, okay. So so what so what she uh uh blamed um the people of Glork to be doing, where they just kind of read old words and they're just kind of showing off their language. That is exactly what's happening here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when I don't care what they call it, cycles, long regular sir, delivery continues. Yeah, okay, that is funny. And we're back. Oh, read along took a while. Um, talking long. I'm saving one before I started talking a whole lot with her and one after because I don't know if it's a good thing that I talk to her a lot. So I had just a very long recording session. I know my goal is to enter a home thrice. So next time I guess I'm going to leave and come back a few times and see if that changes anything. Otherwise, like there are two, there's two areas of interest. Like there's here and there's on top. Like, I didn't even see, like, recharge stations or, like, spirals. I mean, I'll, I'm good on spiral, assuming I don't get transformed or anything, but, like, I, I do wonder. 